There was a man during the time of Imam Sadiq by the name of Abu Shakir al daysani This man, al daysani he was one of the Zanadiqah. He was one of the atheists of the time. And he goes to one of the students of Imam Sadiq by the name of Hisham ibn al-Hakam. He goes to Hisham ibn al-Hakam and he tells him, Oh Hisham, you believe in God? Hisham tells him, Yes, I believe in God. He tells him, Do you believe that your Lord is powerful? He's capable of doing anything? He says, Yes, I believe my Lord is capable. My Lord can do anything. He tells him, Can your Lord take this dunya, this dunya that we have, take it and place it in an egg without making the egg bigger and without making the dunya smaller. Now of course, this is something that's impossible. This goes against the laws of creation. This goes against the laws of reason. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this world and He created laws. A white wall cannot be black wall at the same time. There, is, there are different things. Things that are binaries, things that are different from one another. And there are laws of existence. But this man, Hisham ibn al-Hakam, he didn't have an answer. Even though Hisham ibn al-Hakam was a mu'min, he was a believer, and he was one of the mutakallimin. He was one of those people who were very strong in the science of theology and debates with other people. But Hisham ibn al-Hakam, he tells him, I don't have an answer for you, but I will go and I will bring you an answer. Abu Shakir al daysani he tells him, go and come back in a year. I'm going to give you a whole year. He's ridiculing him. He's mocking him. He tells him, go and come back in a year. Then we'll see if you have an answer. Hisham ibn al-Hakam, right away he gets up and he goes to Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam. He goes to the Imam and he tells him, oh my dear master, there's a zindiq, there's a, an atheist out there who came and he told me this. How can you place this whole dunya? in an egg without making the egg bigger and without making the dunya smaller. So the Imam السلام, he tells him, Oh Hisham, how many senses do you have? How many senses do you have? He tells him, I have five senses. He tells him, what is your smallest of the senses? He says, the smallest is my eyes. The smallest of the senses, it's my eyes. It's a small eyeball with the pupils that are very small. The Imam tells him, Oh Hisham, what do you see with your eyes? He tells him, I see the mountains, I see the deserts, I see the sun, I see the valleys, I see the rivers, I see all of this in front of me. The Imam tells him, Oh Hisham, the one who is capable of placing this whole dunya in these small eyes is also capable of placing the dunya in an egg. However, Allah has laws. Allah has laws of creation. Hisham ibn al-Hakam, he took the answer from the Imam and right away he goes to ad daysani He goes to ad daysani and he tells him, I have brought you the answer. And he tells him what the Imam alayhi salam says and ad daysani is shocked. This is the first time he's seen someone who is able to answer his misconception in a very beautiful way. In a very beautiful way, very precise way, he's able to answer him. So at daysani he gets up and he says, I'm going to go and see Imam Sadiq. He doesn't believe in him, but he says, I'm going to go and see this man, Imam Sadiq. So he goes and he sees Imam Sadiq alayhi salam. And of course, he still wants to debate the Imam, but the Imam alayhi salam is very respectful. The Imam is following the verse in the Quran, Id'u ila sabili rabbik bil hikmati wal maw'idati al hasana wa jadilhum bil lati hiya ahsan. The Imam is not resorting to intolerance and violence. The Imam says, Let's see what this man has to say because perhaps there's a chance that this person is going to be guided. I'm not going to shut the door in front of this person's face. Perhaps there's a chance he's going to be guided. So he tells him, at daysani he tells Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, he tells him, Maddalil ala anna laka sani'an. He tells him, what's the dalil, what's the proof that you have been created? That you have someone, a power that has created you. So the Imam alayhi salam, he tells him, I see myself in two scenarios. Either I am the creator 
or I am the created. Either I am the khaliq, I am the sana, or I have been created. If we go to the first scenario, if I am the creator, either I created something from things that were already there, something that already existed, I created something which already existed, then I am not the real creator. Whoever created it first is the original creator. If I created something that already existed, that doesn't mean that I'm the creator. Someone else came before me and created. Or I created something out of nothing, and you know that you can't create anything out of nothing. So therefore, we go to the third option, and that is I have been created, and there has been a creator that has created me.